Hello everyone. Welcome to I Exam B. Today we have with us Vinay Yadav. He cleared SEBI Grade A uh, 2020 exam from the IT stream. So many many congratulations, Vinay. You are now the SEBI Grade A officer. How does it feel? Thank you, ma'am. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels then? amazing. It's good. Winner of efforts 55. It feels Ab good. Absolutely, you know, and I'm. I think this has been a very very long exam because of COVID coming in between the exam getting postponed so many times, and after that, when you come when you come out successful, it must really be very very uh, exuberant feeling that you must be having right now. Okay. Yeah. So let me give a brief introduction about Vinay. Vinay completed his B Tech in October 2020 from Bundelkhand Institute of Engineering, which is affiliated to UP Technical University. He also holds the All India Rank 79 in GATE 2021 exam. Uh, Vinay had a short uh, short stint of coding experience with an edtech uh, company um, last year. and he also has uh, many other gold batches to his credential to his uh, kitty which he has been adding through various competitions and uh, that he has been participating in so what a great profile vinay can you uh, you know very interesting to know your profile and now that you are a sebi grade officer can you tell us how and when did you come to know about sebi this opportunity and when did you decide to take this exam I came to know about this opportunity through a Google notification, which said SEBI recruiting, like that. And when I searched about it, did some research, I got to know about SEBI stock market. It's a regulating authority of India. And then I applied. In it was in March of 2020. Yes. And then exam was supposed to happen in July, but they got delayed because of the pandemic situation. Right. So that's how I got to know and applied. Okay, so usually, you know, when we see all these regulatory bodies, SEBI, RBI, the first. Uh, 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 perception that we have is it must be related to finance. So, uh, yeah. like, was it like specifically IT that caught your eye, or you just thought, let me see what this notification is about? No, I saw the notification and I saw that uh, they are recruiting for IT stream also. So I have the chance and uh, I would be able to work in IT, IT department. So it aligns with my skills, and that's why I applied. Very nice, very nice, Vinay. Right. So, when the as you also mentioned, the notification had come out in March, and then the exam actually finally happened in January 2021. So, how did you keep yourself motivated enough uh, all this time? Because so many students were panicking when the exam will happen, not happen, and so many of them were losing motivation by the end of it when actually the exam happened. So, how did you keep yourself engaged all this while? because the exam schedule was not in my hand so i didn't have to worry about that as soon as he releases the notification and and i gets to know about the exam date i'll prepare for it so till that time i was preparing for gate and i was too focused about gate i was not aware of that sebi will conduct exam this year or not so i was not sure about it but uh, in the month of january i got to know that the exam is scheduled on 17th of jan and my gate preparation was on the peak so i couldn't take chance in my gate preparation so i just prepared for two days for the sebi phase 1 exam and went there and qualified because it was the qualifying exam so i focused on my strengths like cp phase 1 paper 1 was about gs apt verbal and reasoning and i left other parts which i was not able to focus on like gs and i focused on aptitude verbal and reasoning part and i prepared for it one day and for technical part it, i was good in technical because i was preparing for gate just for few subjects like programming i just revised them like c++ java and python and that's how i went and uh, qualified the exam with 85 marks the qualifying was 80 Wow, so you know that's a very interesting point, Vinay, that you bring out. That uh, in fact, two three points that I take from here is one that uh, the date, the examination date, was not in your hands, so you were not trying to do or get worried about it, right? And the meantime, you were doing what you could do, like preparing for your gate exam, which ultimately does help to prepare for your technical aspect, the technical paper, which was IT in your case. uh all mm. along so it 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 must have become easier for you when the dates came out you were kind of already prepared you had to just check yeah. what all extra you need to add to it and must have been easy another very important point that vinay has brought out for his strategy is the importance of strategy actually you know so many times we are just slogging trying to learn everything 
possible as per the syllabus not realizing our own strengths and weaknesses so i think there's a very important uh, aspect in competitive exams that vinay has brought out that you should know your strengths and work on your strengths and in sebi the another good part was there were no sectional cutoffs so working and focusing on your strength helped vinay clear the cutoff which was the requirement for the the exam to qualify so very good strategy and this is also bringing out the importance and a good mix of knowledge hard work and strategy for clearing competitive exams here yeah. okay so when i did in gs did you do anything at all any question did you attempt or no no question did i you did not attempt a single question because i knew i won't be able to do that so don't waste time focus on fd reasoning and verbal yeah so here yes as as i said again i'm repeating that uh, because there were no sectional cutoffs so this strategy could work okay so we need to really understand the exam pattern the marking scheme yeah. and how the full selection is to make a strategy accordingly you know it cannot be a same strategy for everybody or for every kind of exam so understanding the exam pattern and the marking scheme is very very important okay when so if we move to the a uh, next paper phase 2 in fact there were two papers here and in it case more, both i will say were descriptive uh, in nature english and the other it was coding actually so it wasn't a yeah. mcq based so you have to actually put your skills into use here so how did you prepare for this and what your strategy has been or any sources resources that you have used for your preparation so the paper one of phase 2 was descriptive english and it was scheduled on 27th of feb yeah. and on 20th of feb was my gate exam so i had only 10 to 12 days to prepare for that mm-hmm. and i saw the exam pattern that it consists of a essay question a pressy question and a reading comprehension which needs subjective answers also and that to into 60 minutes frame of time mm-hmm. so i knew it's going to be difficult because the time constraint is really hard so i had to practice well i knew this and i actually jotted down some topics i searched on google about sebi stock market so i i knew that a few of the topics about sa will be general generic for everyone but we mostly it will be related to the finance yeah, okay. so i searched about the topics and started writing articles and practicing i searched 20 topics and i decided to write two essays daily uh, and then analyzing them wherever you are doing mistakes and then correct them so this was my approach and uh, the day one when i wrote my first essay it took me 5 hours to write them 5 hours right one essay yeah 5 hours to write one essay it took me like 7 to yeah 12 in the morning and in 10 days of practice i reduced that particular time to 15 minutes and in the exam i wrote it in 11 minutes wow so from 5 hours to 15 minutes in in 10 days and then to actually 11 minutes in the actual exam wow so that's a very focused approach so you said you chose a narrow down some 20 topics consisting of some related to sebi finance world and maybe some related to general topics so how did you go about and the finance topics basically what was your approach given the fact that you know that may not have been a very comfortable area or uh, aspect for you yeah so like stock market related like equity mutual funds i also searched on some website and they gave like like i exam we also provided few of the things how can you prepare for descriptive exam and there were other website also which gave a list of topics and i collected all those topics and find the overlap and which i can write and that's how i decided and started writing what pressy i did not practice much because i knew i had to choose i had to write from that particular paragraph only it's just that when your english is good your vocab is good and you are able to articulate the sentences well and you are not copy pasting the sentences you will be able to write pressy that's not a big deal so all i had to practice for essay okay right so and how did you analyze so you mentioned like you were reducing your time so you were timing yourself is one thing i understand and for other sentence framings and all how were you analyzing your essays actually in any verbal exam or in any written english exam there are few parameters which uh, you should make sure you don't compromise on them like uh, whenever a question is given you are giving the word limit and you should stick to that word limit it should be plus 10 minus 10 and uh, there should not be any spelling mistakes grammatical mistakes these are the few parameters on which you are evaluated in any writing exam so i was saying that whether i am able to organize my sentences well or uh, i was working because my punctuation errors grammatical mistake that was the very difficult part for me and i was also making spelling mistake because you have to type the essay 
on the system it's not that you are writing with pen yes. so you need to work on that speed also so when it comes to vocabulary part i see many students even i was doing the same and uh, trying to insert some high end words to make sure that your vocab that the reader feel that your vocabulary is really good mm -hmm. but that does not help actually you should try to use different forms of a single word so that it feels a natural way like the sentences you are writing you are articulating they should be in a natural logical flow of your idea you are conveying so that's the part you should focus on on the grammar part the uh, grammar you cannot cram you should simply write articles and you should read more books and articles and that's how you will gain the feel of the grammar and uh, the second thing which i feel is mo most important the redundancy part most of the students i see they uh, use the same word more than twice and that you should not do in any case because that actually gives a redundant feeling that you are short of words you should use proper use of pronouns prepositions everything so that you need to make sure that you show off that uh, you have a complete grip over the language all the aspects of the language that's what the descriptive english wants you yes so when i uh, you know all these points are highlighting how important this paper is from english point of view and they very clearly in the notification also mention that it is testing your writing skills english writing skills and not really your knowledge sometimes what we uh, get lost in is the knowledge and the amount of data we are putting mm -hmm. in in the essay which is actually yeah. not the focus area for descriptive english it is about your english or writing skills because being a being a grade a officer you will have to write reports read reports screen reports so i think that is why this uh, exam is taken into account so very very key point again highlighted by vinay you need to practice not just reading but also typing because it has to be typed so your speed is very very important you cannot write you may be writing a very beautiful essay but if you taking an hour or half an hour to write it it will not serve the purpose uh, at that time for the exam to clear to clear the exam at least very interesting uh, when i moving to the paper 2 this was a coding paper which happened separately at certain uh, you know defined uh, centers you may might have yeah. had to travel to those centers to give that paper so both aspects from the preparation side of course technical knowledge was there and also i would like to ask you about your mental state because you know that time again covid was rearing its head and you had to travel to another place to give that exam how was the feeling both ways you know technically for the preparation of the exam and mentally were you calm enough while doing that paper or you had anxiety traveling how did you feel for paper 2 or phase 2 i was very sure that i'll clear it because i am good with data structures and algorithms and that's a strong point that's my strength so i knew i'll be able to do that i did not prepare much i prepared for 5 days just practiced well and revised the implementation of trees graphs and dynamic programming questions and then i went there and the paper 2 of phase 2 consisted of five five questions one question was of uh, 40 marks that was based on the implementation of trees they wanted a customized implementation of tree and we need to make sure that uh, we need to answer various queries in that particular question first build a tree from scratch and then answer various queries based on the searching it was a binary search tree and then second question was of 30 marks and that was on string manipulation and then three questions 30, uh, 10 marks each i could not solve one question of 10 marks because of some formula issues i could not remember a particular formula so it was easy if anybody has a good grip over data structures and algorithms they have implemented data structures then i don't think it will be a big deal because if you have done trees linked list stacks queues graphs these kind of topics then the paper 2 will be a cake walk i could solve all the questions in 1 hour 45 minutes wow so it was not too tough so a lot of uh, things that you are mentioning uh, you know it it looks so easy and i'm sure it's not been that easy a journey for you but it's it's a inspiration to hear from you that it is so much doable if we know if we are focused if we believe in ourselves and we know our strengths uh, yeah so yes very interesting and now coming to the elephant in the room maybe interview you know how did your interview go did you prepare for that also at all or just two days and you just walked in into the interview uh, interview room and pressed the panel and came out successful yeah i prepared for the interview i got to know on 25 uh, 25th of may about the interview it was scheduled on 8th of june in mumbai mm -hmm. and then i started preparing i need to go for mumbai and all the arrangements i had to make because of some family problems also at that time cropping up i started my pre interview prep on 1st of june i prepared for four days and then gave a mock interview at exam bay and got some feedback uh, that's how four days of my preparation was for interview 
okay that's uh, you know so you keep surprising me two days three days four days preparation and but it's it's not uh, as simple as no it's not that easy like the yeah. those four days first second third fourth june was like four into 12 hours 48 hours continuous rigorous effort so it's yeah. not that you are giving two hours three hours six hours it was 12 hours completely sitting on desk so that was four days right right winner so that's the way we should look at it you know sometimes uh, we forget the details and we are just focused on the smaller numbers but it's a lot of effort and as i'm saying i'll highlight again it's not just that moment there's so much backing that comes from our background our education and uh, uh, knowing our own self uh, that there so a little more details if we go into about your interview was it technical was it hr what do you think was more important uh, what what aspects you felt uh, were important in that interview yeah in interview they actually tested technical also hr questions based and they were also testing your confidence personality and they were actually whatever word you utter there you should know about it whatever you speak you should be consistent throughout your answers you should be very good with your profile you should be able to answer you should be able to justify whatever you have done and why you did that so and you should also have the basics even if i you we are from information technology background still we need to have some basics of stock market securities what is primary market capital market insider trading because when there are a lot of times when they ask something and then we simply say that uh, uh, sebi is doing this for curbing the insider trading and then then, then they will ask about insider trading we won't be able to tell so we should be prepared enough like what i did uh, was like first since sebi is about securities market i uh, to some website like in investopedia read about primary markets capital market the basics of the stock market like what is demat and demat account and all these kind of things and then what sebi does and then the third thing which you need to know about is the re recent developments what in the stock market what sebi is doing recently in uh, last few days you need to know about that the last thing which is the most important thing you should be thorough with your profile you should know yourself well because they will ask questions yes. and whatever you say in the interview you should be justify you, you should be able to justify it well Wow. So, so these are the few aspects which you should work on. Yes. So I think Vinay has uh, very nicely uh, summed up an interview. You know, the organization you are going to interview for, you should know about that organization and their work area, work interests related and what they are doing uh, in the recent time. So recent developments, as he mentioned, and then the most important aspect, you. If you are going, then you should know about yourself, everything in your profile and what you are saying. You uh, you should understand what you are saying actually there and not just blabbering out words to impress the panel. Right. So, uh, yes, a very important aspect. And so, yes. And on the technical part, just for IT people, because most of the people yeah. think they, that uh, interview won't be technical. You should focus on databases. Databases, they will surely ask. Okay. Like they ask me questions about normalization and joins and uh, Hadoop also. So CB works on data actually. They have projects like Data Lake and they are working on uh, data mining. These kind of projects they are working. So you should have a basic knowledge of databases because they'll ask. They asked me like for seven to 10 minutes about databases only. Database. So it was a technical plus HR and you should have a basic, uh, you should be ready for basic HR questions like uh, where do you see yourself in next five years? What are your strengths? Yeah. What are your weaknesses? These kind of questions you should be thorough about. Yeah, that's how my interview was. Nice. Very, very insightful, uh, Vinay. I'm sure this is going to help so many more aspirants uh, who dream to prepare or who have been preparing and may have missed on a certain aspects. This is very helpful. Uh, Vinay, thank you again so much for sharing your experience, your journey, and uh, you've come out successful at the end of this entire process. Many, many congratulations once again from IXMB side. And anything else, uh, Vinay, you want to add uh, as the last? Yeah, I just want to say thank you to you because you also provided feedback for the interview. And that also helped me in the actual interview. So thank you to IXAMB also for the mock interview. Thank you, Vinay. Always uh, ready to help in whatever way we can uh, to the students looking for any kind of help. And that is what we will uh, continue doing. And that is what our aim is. Uh, thank you so much, Vinay, once again, and congratulations uh, for a successful career at SEBI and ahead. Thank you, ma'am.